will be finding the centroid for a given triangle. We'll be constructing a triangle given the base, angle CAB, and the length of the side AC. What we'll be doing, we'll be drawing the base first. So we use our T-square or our ruler to draw the baseline. Then we're going to measure 9 centimeters for the base. So this is A, B, and this line is 90 millimeters. Now the angle A, the angle at A is 60 degrees. So we're going to open our compass to any radius, mark an arc from A to intersect the baseline A, B. Then we're going to, where the arc intersect the baseline, we're going to put 1. At 1, we're going to put our compass here and mark the same radius that we used before to intersect the previous arc. Then we're going to draw a line from A through the intersection of the two arcs. And this line is a 6 degree angle. Now the next thing we're going to do, when we're going to measure the length of the side AC, which is given. So what we're going to do, we're going to get our ruler and our compass, and we're going to measure 7 centimeters using the compass and the ruler. Then we're going to put the compass point at A, and we're going to mark the 7 centimeter radius, which we measured a while ago using the ruler, and this point will be C. Then we're going to use our ruler and pencil to draw the line BC. This is the required triangle ABC given the length of the base AB, angle CAB, and the length of the side AC. So we have the triangle. What we're going to do now, we're going to find the centroid for the triangle. So what we'll do, we'll do in, we'll be measuring the midpoint for each of the sides. So we're going to measure the midpoint for AB which is 4.5, then we're going to measure the midpoint for BC, which is 4.2 centimeters, then we're going to measure the midpoint for AC, so we measure AC, and we're going to measure half the distance for AC using a ruler. What we're going to do now, we're going to connect B to the midpoint, that is at the point that we mark on the line AC. Then we're going to connect from A to the midpoint on the line BC. Then we're going to connect C to the midpoint of the line, from C to the midpoint of the line AB. Where the three medians intersect, that is C, that is centroid for the given triangle. So the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to label the drawing. So we're going to draw guidelines to measure the 4 millimeters apart. So we're going to write between those guidelines. So this is 2. Find the centroid of a triangle. A, B, C. What we'll be doing now will be indicating that the median drawn from C to the line A, B is halfway. So we're going to put a mark here and one mark here to indicate that the, those two measurements are the same. We're going to put two marks here on the line AC to indicate that the median is at the midpoint. We're going to put three marks here and three marks there to indicate that the median goes to the midpoint from A. Good job. We have come to the end of today's video. In today's video, we looked at how to find the centroid for a given triangle ABC. In the next video, 
we'll be looking at the construction of a triangle in a given circle. At CAD with Mr. U, we aim to become your favorite math channel. We thank you for joining us and we're looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Please take care until then. Bye. Thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, comment, and share.